This is the Tennessee Intercourse Practice Test for number 44, for Algebra 1, sorry. So in this question, they want to know where the closest area to the figure is. Well, if I make one simple move, this becomes very simple. Oh, look, it's half a, it's a triangle, and then it is half a circle. If you need to know what the formula for area of those two figures are, you can look right here in the section that conveniently says area. It says the area of that triangle is one-half base times height. It says the formula for area of a circle is pi r squared, but we're going to add a, a caveat to that because this is only half a circle. We're going to multiply that times one half because there's only half a circle. So my base amount is one, two, three, four, five, six across, and the height is one, two, three. Make sure you go where you have a right angle. This would make a right angle there, these two lines. The two lines that make the right angle would tell you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three. So half of this, this part will give you nine. And then the uh, pi r squared, uh, the radius here would be this part, one, two, three. It's actually the same as the height of that triangle. So my answer for the uh, this part of it, pi times 3 squared times 0.5, to me it looks like this, gives you 14.1. And then I can just add these two numbers together, and it gives you something like 23 square units. Also, if you hate that, if you're pretty decent at counting halves, you can sort of get an idea of what this is supposed to be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then I'm going to count the halves together. So this would be about 17. This together, probably this big one. And there's probably a really tiny one somewhere. So this is probably 18 right here. This is 19 right there. You're looking at pretty much this, this, and this together, giving you about one and a half. So we'll say that's, you know, 21 and a half. And then over here, these together will give you something around the 23 that you're looking for. Basically, if you can count up and you're pretty accurate, you should be able to get uh, somewhere close to this number. If the next number was, say, uh, they had 22 and then 23, I usually go one up if it's really close. So if I count, say, 22, I'll go up to the next one, which would be 23. But this, they're so far apart, it's kind of irrelevant. Uh, 23 is the obvious answer if you do all that counting. So whatever method you like, just use it and feel comfortable with it.